Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. My brother, she just left him there. We didn't even get to say goodbye. Now at five tonight, a family is demanding justice following a deadly hit and run. Roland White was killed crossing Broad Street in North Philadelphia. The driver had hit two people prior to that, never stopping to help. It's Tuesday night. Shari is off. Sarah Bloomquist is joining us. And the big story in Action News is the search for the driver wanted in three separate hit and run crashes. Police tell us the whole chain of events started last night in front of the Rivers Casino. A person on a scooter was hit in the casino's parking lot. Then another pedestrian was struck at Broad and Spring Garden Streets. The violent spree ended when White was hit and killed at Broad and Lehigh. The Mustang was found a few blocks away. Action News reporter John Paul is live from Broad Street in Spring Garden. John, you spoke with the grieving family. Yeah, I did. And uh, first, I want to show you where I am. This is Spring Garden and Broad Street. And this is actually where a man on a bicycle was hit by that driver. Now, I want to show you something over here. Just about a block away from police headquarters. Now, after all that happened, the driver continued going up Broad Street about two miles where they hit and killed a man who was just trying to get home. His name is Roland Darrell White Jr. He was not just a random black man. He was not just the stereotypical gang banger drug dealer. He was a good man. He was a family man. That family man killed just two days after Christmas. He was simply walking across Broad Street near Lehigh Avenue in North Philadelphia when a driver fleeing from several other crashes slammed into him. My brother is gone and my family is hurting. The driver of that gray Mustang, who police believe was a woman, continued a few blocks before ditching the car near Indiana Avenue and running off. You can see the windshield smashed from the impact. And she hit my brother and she just left him there. And we didn't even get to say goodbye. The family is now trying to come to terms with what happened to the 22 year old who they say was making plans for his future. He was even starting a new job at the airport tomorrow. Instead, his family is planning a funeral. I don't have answers. We don't have answers, but we want answers. You hear me? It's wrong. He didn't deserve this. He did not deserve this. He's a good child. She hit my brother. She took my brother from me. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Yeah, the family is devastated tonight. Now, police do have some surveillance video of the person fleeing from that car. They're reviewing it tonight, actively searching for that driver. As for the family, they're planning to have a vigil at the crash site this time tomorrow night. Live in Spring Garden, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, John, thank you. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.